Was he outside? There he is. Shit. Take that guy's face off. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered. Alright, so we've approached um, Silver Lake. This, this little town. This is where Ellie is being captured by David, we believe. So, um, Joel, of course, has just woken up from being like passed out from his injuries to find that Ellie's not around anymore. So he's interrogated a few um, hunters and they've pointed out on a map that Ellie is in this town. Okay, we've got a bunch of hunters patrolling the area. I think these hunters are probably looking for Ellie more than they are looking for Joel because I don't think they even know that Joel's where Joel is, really. So we'll take this guy now, we're gonna take him around the back. Shit. Um Um Move in, move in! Holy shit. Oh <laughs> yeah, of course I wanna stay stealth as long as possible just to give myself as much of a chance to reduce the numbers of enemies as much as I can. And that guy was lucky enough to have him go around this corner. <laughs> Here he is. He's come back for some more. So we're going to choke this guy out now again behind this building. So the last we left off with Ellie, she was in the middle of a scrap with David. And she dropped her knife under a table, so and then it just quickly um, switched over to Joel. So, as far as we know, Ellie is still fighting against David inside that restaurant. Okay, we got two guys approaching together here. Just gotta be really careful now. Time to move away. If they both come in here, we're gonna have to possibly fight them both. If not, we'll grab this one guy. This guy's going outside. Hopefully that... I don't know where that guy went that was just... Outside. Hopefully he doesn't come through any of these do two doors too soon. I've no idea where he is. He could be around the corner still outside. I don't think he came in, did he? He didn't come in. He's not in the garage. <laughs> Shit. Okay, we've been spotted. Which which way did he... Was he outside? There he is. Shit. Take that guy's face off. Then the other guy's around the corner outside the building. Got a guy behind us. Okay. Just doing what I can to make every kill count here. I'm not going to try and save ammo by using melee. I'm just trying to get through this. Progression is the most important part at the moment. Not really trying to do a perfect run where I'm not using any ammo. I'm sure there's another guy still outside. I don't think that was the guy that was actually out there. Because he wouldn't have been able to come around the corner that quick, I don't think. So the shotgun and shorty are very effective in this zone because of the close quarters of the buildings. Okay, it's gone a bit quiet now. So it's possible that we've killed all the enemies that are patrolling in this area. Could possibly be some on the other side. Yeah, stay around the outside first before we actually do go too close to. You can actually see over there. You can barely see it. You see it when we get a bit closer, but there's a fire. So I think that's the restaurant where Ellie's in. So it's going through real time at the moment. So um Ellie is actually in that building right now. We're going to check this building first and go. Possibly, if we can get inside it, we'll go inside. If not, we'll just have to stay behind cover. Probably check these cupboards. No, we can't. That's a surprise. And if it's out of the bathroom? No. Let's just jump out this window. Got a door here. Is this a shiv door? Yes, it is. Okay, leave that alone. I'm quite sure that there's guys at the end of this bit. To the left now as you go up this corner. Actually, that, that fire isn't the building, is it? It's just um, a barrel with fire in it. 
You can actually see a guy behind the fire there. He's um, well hidden behind the flames, but you can see that I'm getting a case of marker on his head. So we're going to take this shot. Did we actually did we get him? No, we didn't get him. There he is. So he's dead now. I think we... Oh, uh, that was probably a bad choice, actually, to take that shot with the bow and arrow. Okay, there's more guys coming down now. I've just seen the guy drop down in the distance. I don't know where he's gone, though. You really can barely see. I don't know if he ran across or if he just stopped when he dropped down. But i definitely seen a body that was alive drop down. It wasn't the guy I shot. It was someone else. So we're going to be very careful and sneak around as much as we can. Or maybe that's the body of the guy we just shot. Let's quickly um, switch out some weapons. So we've got ammo in every slot. What have we got here? Yeah, we're just best keeping it as it is. Let's get the shotgun out for the moment. I want to see if he can get up there to get the arrows back. It doesn't look like he can, so we're not going to. <coughs> Just keep on sneaking forward. Stay behind as much cover as we can. There's going to be some more hunters in the area. Okay, there's one there behind this wall. There's two there. Possibly sneak past these guys. Okay, I had no other option there than over to take him out with the axe. You're dead, so these guys know where I am now, so I'm, I can't sneak past anymore. I'm gonna have to try and take these out. I can't even see shit though, it's just a white screen in front of me. I wonder if they can see me. Okay, there's a guy on the left now, I want to cross, I can see him. He's behind that car. Keep him down. <laughs> Fuck, I pulled the trigger. Done. Nice. Okay, we're out of ammo now on that gun. I'm just trying to make them shots count there. I pulled the trigger as, as he shot me, and it really did stumble me back, me back, so I couldn't take the next shot. We can craft the health pack, actually. I'm going to do that. I think I might use it as well, just to keep myself at full health, so I can be as safe as possible. Because I, I know the enemies do more damage on ground than difficulty, but I'm not too sure on... If it's a massive amount, you know, it might just be take off a quarter health instead of a tenth or something, but it might be half my health. I really don't know. Okay, we got quite a few shotgun shells there. So I think we're going to carry on progressing through this way. Go around the back of this building. There's Ellie's bag. Ellie's backpack. Let me inspect it. You can zoom in on it. Move it around a little inch. A few inches around the side. What's the point of that? What is this? Where the hell is Ellie's stuff here? There the dates are on the left hand side. How much meat they got in pounds. Is that per day? That's a lot of meat. Is that human meat? Because I know the cannibals, because they were cutting up arms and stuff. So every, so whenever we've seen hunters getting um, people, killing them and then taking them away, oh Christ! They've always been eating them. I gotta find her. I gotta find her. Holy shit! This is very dark. I didn't know that he ate that many people. I thought that they were just like starting off. But it looks like they've been doing this for a long time. Just anyone that they can find, they kill and eat. Let's check this shelf up here. There's not in there. Alright, we're gonna go for this door now. Shh. Ellie. Okay, that's the restaurant that Ellie's inside. They were in the kitchen last time they were fighting. Why are they lying down in the restaurant? Why are they both lying down? What the hell happened?
Here's the knife. That makes no sense. The knife was underneath the, um, a cabinet in the kitchen. And now it's underneath a chair in the restaurant. Spooky. So we're just crawling forward here. We're pushing the left stick forward. Just to get towards this blade. Oh shit. I knew you had heart. You know, it's okay to give up. Ain't no shame in it. I don't think he knows that the knife is there. That's why he's letting her crawl a bit. Just not your style, is it? You can try begging. Fuck you. You think you know me? Huh? Well, let me tell you something. You have no idea what I'm capable of. We've jumped forward a bit now. We're in the spring. Ellie! Ellie! Did you hear me? No. What? Look. Hospital. This is where we get off. Let's go, kiddo. <laughs> Feel that breeze, huh? I tell you, on a day like this, I just sit on my porch. Take away my six string. Yeah, you know, once we're done with this whole thing, I'm gonna teach you how to play guitar. Yeah, I reckon you'd really like that. What do you say, huh? Ellie, I'm talking to you. Huh? Oh. Yeah, sure, that sounds great. She's been a bit weird. Maybe it's because the journey's coming to an end. We're actually at Salt Lake City, which is where the Fireflies ran back to. They should have a lab here. A hospital, I think. So, there's a caravan here with some stuff inside. God. Photograph. Is this the family? I guess it is. Didn't end well for these guys, did it? I dreamt about flying the other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Go on, tell me about it. So, I'm on this big plane full of people, and everyone is screaming and yelling because the plane's going down. So I walk to the cockpit, open the door, but there's no pilot. I try to use the controls, but I obviously have no clue how to fly a plane. And right before we crash, I wake up. I've never been on a plane. Isn't that weird? Well, you know, dreams are weird. Okay, so we're heading for St. Mary's Hospital. And I believe it's the... Oh, you can see it there, in the distance. St. Mary's Hospital. The red writing on the building. So it doesn't look like it's too far away. Look at that. Another city. Another abandoned quarantine zone. This 
it's weird how we're getting so close again to the where the fireflies meant to be. It's so quiet because that's really only like a few blocks away. There's that hospital the firefly mentioned. Come on, kiddo. Unless the fireflies group has just like gone down to a really small few people now, and they haven't got enough people to be guarding around all these checkpoints. <coughs> Lots of abandoned vehicles as well. That tank looks wrecked. What's happened to that? Maybe it's just been there for so long it just looks like that. Maybe we cut through here. Looks like a bit of a dead end round here. There's not really much we can access. It's all closed off. There's a way to get up over there. Well, we could use that ladder. Here we go. Ellie. Ellie. What? The ladder. Her mind's somewhere else, isn't she? She's not really thinking straight. Maybe she's think having second thoughts on getting to the fireflies. Nice one. Ellie! Ellie! She's heard something and ran off to it. You gotta see this! What is it? What the hell is it? A big shadow outside the window. Hello? Where's she gone? Did she go this way? Come on, hurry up. Oh. You see that? It's a giraffe. How the hell can a giraffe be alive in this world? Surely, and they're not fast, are they? Oh, I don't think they are. What the fuck? We can go to it. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Hurry up. Come on. it off to? Here, come on, let's go. S slow down, kiddo. <laughs> come on. It's nuts how they can make a game that's based on a um, end of the world, like post-apocalyptic world, make it look so like pretty with all these colors and animals and music even. It's got its ups and downs, but it can't 
can't deny the view, though. Mm, that is quite a view. Can we just jump down now and run towards the hospital? Because it's right there. We can ride the giraffes. That'd be even better. Must, they must have gone from the zoo or something. There must be a zoo nearby. Because they've got plenty of food, haven't they, with the trees? We don't have to do this. You know that, right? What's the other option? Go back to Tommy's. Just be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. It can't be for nothing. So of course Joel wants to hang on to Ellie now, you know, he's obviously got a close bond of her like his own daughter pretty much and handing her off to the Fireflies is not going to be a happy end for him. But Ellie sees it as like, that's what she's living for right now, that's what her, she's such a special person with being immune to the disease that she's got to do this. And we're going to actually get to the hospital everyone in the next part, so we're going to end it on these stairs here. Alright guys, see you in the next part. Bye!